There was a lady I, I met, uh, may Allah bless her, her name escapes me for now, but she had such an awe in her face, she hadn't seen her son for three years. She went out to a funeral when he was six years old and soldiers wouldn't let her go home to the West Bank. They drove her and threw her into Gaza Strip and she was crying for me who hadn't seen my kids for six weeks. I'm praying for, and I thought, wow. I said, what about you? She said, no, no, it's okay, it's with Allah, but you, are you okay? Look, where does that come from? Where does that, what is the source of that compassion? And when I was crying and, and what you're talking about is Bayat Hanum, which got destroyed and this family is living in basically a garage and the children are traumatized and they've got white phosphorus on them and I'm crying and she's like are you okay it's like part of me wanted to scream will you stop being nice you know what is wrong with you and in one house I did actually burst out why are you fasting what is wrong with you people what is wrong with you why are you so compassionate why are you literally you've lost your minds and the mother said who um I said why are you fasting she said I fast in Ramadan to remember the poor. She had no furniture, she had no money, she had uh, you know, no heating, but she was fasting because her neighbor was poorer than her. That's love. And she gave me the, the food from her kids because I was a visitor. I'm like, wow, if this is the way life can be, if this is the love that can exist in this realm between human beings, what is the source?